pants and dodging traffic. This is the scene every day near Southwest 9th and Davis, just south of downtown. It's scary. You really have to watch, especially people that speeding. Narrow lanes along with speeding and distracted drivers make it a harrowing experience for people crossing Southwest 9th. I think it is very dangerous. Flowers mark the spot nearby where a 12 year old boy was hit and killed nearly two years ago while walking home from school. With still no stoplight or crosswalk here, the owner of the Angry Goldfish restaurant fears it will happen again. Somebody's going to get hit, somebody's going to get killed. Um, and, and my fear is that it's not just one person that stands on the corner anymore. There's groups of three or four, um, six, eight that stand on the corner at a time, and, and somebody's going to plow into a group of them. Clark Way is begging the city of Des Moines to put a stoplight at this intersection. I have personally, in the last four weeks, I've seen four accidents on this corner. I witnessed four accidents on this corner. He showed us photos from when a car plowed into a telephone pole near his building this yeah. month. Right now, it's telephone poles. Pretty soon it's going to be people. His security cameras capture hundreds of people crossing Southwest 9th every day, many of them darting to narrowly miss speeding cars. This road is extremely dangerous. Frank Strong is one of nearly 800 people who signed the petition. His wife was rear ended and hurt badly at this intersection. I think it's very imperative because we're talking public safety. I think safety is incredibly important and we need to take measures to make it safer. But those measures should not include a stop line, according to Councilman Josh Mandelbaum. He says a recent study by the city shows traffic patterns don't justify putting one here. What we really need to look at is ways that we can slow down that traffic. Mandelbaum wants stepped up enforcement and road design changes, but that doesn't sit well with Clark, who says putting a stoplight in now is the only way to prevent someone from getting hurt. We just don't have time for studies. Somebody's going to get hit. Somebody's going to get killed.